We have a bunch of important stuff to go through here in today's video for Vanguard Season 1 and the Warzone Pacific map. Everything has been delayed. We'll go through all the details, all of the schedule changes, some updates on gameplay trailer releases, and new content we're getting in Season 1. If you guys are new and would like to subscribe, I would greatly appreciate that. And be sure to drop a like on the video as well. First, we have some quick updates here. We have a Black Friday sale up to 67% off through November 29th on Battle.net for Cold War, Modern Warfare 2019, BO4, and the MW2K campaign remastered and in vanguard right now we have the ship house playlist live that of course includes das house and shipment really crazy stuff there and in vanguard right now we still have that double xp for pretty much everything in the game your player level the clan xp operator xp battle pass xp and all the good stuff really cool to see there but today we have to talk about all the huge changes made to the release of season one of vanguard and warzone and the actual pacific map releasing itself here is Call of Duty's update. They just tweeted out a couple of hours ago. Update Season 1 of Vanguard and the Warzone Pacific map will now release on December 8th. Vanguard owners will have 24-hour exclusive first play access to the Caldera map. Open access begins on December 9th. So everything has been delayed by exactly one week. If you guys don't remember, this happened last year with the release of Season 1 of Black Ops Cold War and the Warzone integration as well, along with the Rebirth Island. So it's definitely not out of the ordinary to see a minor delay like this to a new Call of Duty update. And for the the roadmap here pretty much everything is the same they did update with the new dates here shipment of course is now available the vanguard season one mp maps modes weapons gear zombies updates all now releasing on december 8th along with the early access to the pacific map december 9th we have the rest of the content for the warzone pacific map pretty cool stuff there we still don't have specifics on what exactly we're seeing for this new update but we should get that very soon the question that a lot of people may have of why exactly is call of duty delaying all of this by a week is kind of answered here by Dex who now actually works at Call of Duty. He said this about the matter, just need a little more time to get everything squared away for the community to enjoy. All of the individuals working hard behind the scenes appreciate everyone's patience. So for me again, I tweeted this out. I don't mind at all, honestly. I still want a little more time to level up all my weapons before the Warzone Pacific integration, and I'm actually doing something that weekend, so for me, it's almost perfect timing, and a week isn't that long of a time period to wait again. I would rather them fix everything up, make sure all the bugs are in order, make sure everything is running smoothly, then release something early that isn't working as well. We've been seeing time and time again when updates and even entire games sometimes don't get fully finished or fine-tuned, things don't pan out well for the community we get a worse experience overall i would definitely rather wait for a fully finished update than get it early and have to deal with all these different glitches and bugs so for me not a big deal here let me know your opinions on this down below but this delay also will impact the schedule for all of the dlc events and marketing we were going to see leading up to the release of season one so the secrets of the pacific event in warzone was supposed to begin next wednesday november 24th maybe they'll keep it that day and just extend the event by a week so it'll be two weeks long and it'll end the day before season one on December 7th, or they will delay the launch of that event and instead, the Secrets of the Pacific event will begin the Wednesday after December 1st, and it will only last a week as it was originally intended to do so. We'll see very soon. Raven Software did announce on their trailer board that an updated schedule would be posted, which makes me think that it will begin a week later. They want it to be just a short event, so most likely December 1st, but I'll be sure to update you guys on what they end up saying. And of course, now the overall marketing for Vanguard's Season 1 update and the Warzone Pacific map probably delayed here, impacted by this as as well i was expecting to see some type of gameplay trailer and a more in-depth roadmap early next week as that would have been only a week before the new season would come out of course now next week is still around two and a half weeks until the new release date so that's still not too bad sometimes we do see new gameplay trailers two weeks out from a new update although more common than not it's usually only a week out so most likely next week we won't see anything major in terms of a full gameplay trailer a full detailed roadmap for exactly what mp maps zombies content and warzone pacific content we're getting a part of season one but we may get it early i'll let you guys know on that most likely minor teasers next week and then the big reveals the week after before we get into some more info here for vanguard season one and the warzone pacific update here's a quick word from the sponsor of today's video today's video has been sponsored by 
Stay Out, a really sick free-to-play game available on Steam. Stay Out is an MMORPG with shooter elements based on the spirit of stalking. This game will include urban exploration, searching, exploring, mysterious, abandoned, and forgotten by humanity pieces of our planet. Discover a world full of dangers and incredible events, which has its own laws and principles, become one of the stalkers, people living the romance of the unknown, able to overcome any trials in search of artifacts on the territory of the alienation zone. Take a look beyond the edge of the unknown, where the secrets of nature and deadly dangers await the daredevils at every turn, survive laboratories, life forms of unknown origin, mysterious anomalies, and strange artifacts that challenge our knowledge of the laws of of nature. All of this is a part of the huge world of Stay Out. Now, I've been playing a good bit of this game, and I gotta say, there's a ton of really good features here you wouldn't expect from a small indie studio like them. The level of character customization rivals the top AAA games. I mean, some games don't even have this level here. You can change your beard, your clothing, your facial structure. I've never seen that, so it's actually so cool. How many different unique and different personalized characters you can make for this game and in the game itself there's a lot to learn as well from your inventory system the map the current quest you have to do the things you need to craft and loot and a bunch more stuff and once you understand how to do everything it's super simple but i definitely recommend going through the entire tutorial as it's really helpful at explaining how all parts of this game works. Overall, Stay Out is a super cool, in-depth, eerie game. Be sure to check it out. A link will be down below in the description and in a pinned comment. Thank you guys again for sponsoring today's video. Now let's go through some actual content we're expected to see for Vanguard and Warzone, not only for season one, but future seasons as well. In a previous video that I'll link down below, I went through a bunch of info on an upcoming Attack on Titan collab event with Call of Duty that will include an operator, different weapons, an execution, some other stuff as well. It's most likely going to be a cosmetic bundle in the store. We don't know. It might be an event as well. They might go even further with that. We'll see very soon, but it should also release around the first week of January as this is going to coincide with the final season of Attack on Titan, which is supposed to be releasing in January as well, January 9th to be specific. So that time frame makes the most sense for this bundle to release in the game. And if it is an event, that also kind of makes sense. It could be a part of the season one reloaded roadmap and update the entire reloaded update it could be about this attack on titan event that could be a lot more than just a bundle it could be different game modes different playlists different stuff like that maybe even a whole new map we'll see very soon but again it'll most likely just be a bundle in the store which is still really cool to see especially if you're a fan of the show and i also want to talk about other collabs in call of duty there have been a bunch of rumors about different collabs call of duty may have with different movies and comic book heroes and stuff like that here's what the ghost of hope had to say about this here there's seemingly quite a few calling cards in vanguard that reference different films this is what i mean by assuming stuff Sometimes devs have obvious code names for stuff they're referencing. There's nothing more to that. There's a Penguins of the Madagascar calling card. There's a Shining calling card. There's an Indiana Jones calling card. A Captain America calling card. See the pattern? Just cool calling cards that the devs wanted to do. So of course, as we saw with Modern Warfare 2019 and Black Ops Cold War, different events will be related and collabing with different films. We saw the Haunting of Verdansk event, the 80s Action Heroes event, the new haunting event for Black Ops Cold War, other one-off themed bundles, so we will continue to see more of that those different collabs in Vanguard most likely but just because there is a con card relating to a different film doesn't mean that will translate into a bundle in the store or an event in the game itself so we'll see very soon what we end up getting it would be cool to see more collabs of course but when we get rumors like this you have to make sure to understand it's not confirmed and you can't say for sure until Call of Duty themselves actually confirms it but that's pretty much the info on that let me know down below any other ideas you guys have for future collabs Call of Duty could do with different movies from the past, different genres, different comic book heroes, Marvel, DC. There's probably so much stuff they could do, so leave all of your ideas down below. And I also hope in general, Call of Duty looks to do bigger events for their game, like Fortnite. Of course, Fortnite has huge events for their game in general, huge collab events with different movies and musical artists and stuff like that. So I think it would be great for Call of Duty. It would bring a ton of numbers and attraction to the game. It would get people excited it would get people hyped a lot of stuff in warzone could be done actual map changes an actual explosion in the map i've said before an idea i had for the warzone pacific map would be an actual live explosion and eruption of the volcano on the map 
not just a cutscene of it happening, but live in the game, there's an LTM and you could see the lava just spewing out of the volcano, burning everything down. That could be a really good way to transition into the next Warzone map for Modern Warfare 2 in 2022. So we'll see what they end up doing, but hopefully the events in general are bigger and better than they ever were before. But that's pretty much here for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. There are two videos up on screen that may interest you, so be sure to check one of them out. Really do appreciate it, guys. Shout out to the YouTube channel members as always. And I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream. Peace out, guys.